Hello everyone. Happy Memorial Day weekend. My name's Eric and thanks for joining us for another prep video. This weekend we are going to be preparing trout. I will show you uh, the best way to debone a trout. Okay, let's debone a trout. Uh, you can use this technique to debone any sort of fish, um, big or small. It's all the same theory. So let's look at what we have going on here. Um, we have the spine and then we have the rib bones and the basic technique is to separate the rib bones from the spine. So in order to do that, let's start with the top part first. So the spine's right here. We're just going to slightly break those bones like that. Don't go too far in. Just start it. Okay. And then bring the knife all the way to the tail. You're going to cut through this fin. And you're just hanging on to that backbone. Okay. So now that we have those bones broken apart from the spine, we want to deep on the fish. Basically what you're doing is you're following the spine down. Sorry, fish got away from me for a second. And then, like so. So let's do the other side real quick. And again, you don't want to go too far. So you do this more often, you get better at it, and then you can find your own little style. But this is how most people teach other people how to do it. Normally I would flip the fish, but you guys have to see what's going on, so... We won't flip it. There we go. Okay, so now the fish is through the first stage of being deboned. Now comes the fun part. So uh, we have the backbone all done up. So we're going to remove the backbone by cutting it out. Um, good rule of thumb, <laughs> that's ironic, is uh, not to use your thumbs when uh, cutting fish. And the reason is, is your thumb is very strong and you will mash your fish, turn it into mashed potato. <laughs> Give me a second here. There we go. So. We have our head, sorry, there we go, and then let's take off the tail. All right, so now we're going to take off the rib bones at the end part. So what you do is you just take your knife. Uh, and get your fish very nice and flat. And then start from these rib bones, just slowly, you're not even pressing when you're doing this. You're just kind of letting the rib bones separate naturally from the flesh with just a little bit of urge from your knife. And your, your knife is like following the rib bones. You're slightly going up the entire time until you see the skin. And then I usually just cut that 
spit out. Okay, let's do the other side. And uh, might be a little bit different uh, for you on the other side, just because you know you inverse something and it's slightly different, but you follow the same technique. Don't press. Just let your knife do the work for you. Until you see the skin. Okay. So there we have a fully deboned trout. Almost. Uh, so for our next step. We have to save all your trimmings, by the way. The next step is going to be tweezering. Um, I imagine this is probably the first time for a lot of you, unless you've worked with me, to deboning a trout. But when you get a trout that is deboned, the pin bones are still there. And let's see if you can actually see them. Uh, you can. You can definitely see them. So, uh, when you're deboning, you want to line up the skin towards you. That's where like, the fins used to be. And you want to look right here. And you can feel them. And unfortunately, the, the best way to do this is... Um, my, I'm going to have to do some weird camera angle stuff here for, for you. But you grab the bone and then you pull this way towards where the head would be. And you can do this very, very, very slowly. I like to typically, what's wrong with my fish tweezers? There we go. Um, let the fish age for about a day or two, just so rigor mortis actually has gone all the way or taken full effect and fully left because when the fish is freshly caught this is it really uh, wants to hang on to its bones to say the least so trying to keep as much fish on the fish and just take the bones out really easy once you find it and you can get like a good like purchase on it. There we go. And just feel until something stabs you. Something stabbed me there. It's not an aggressive stab, don't worry. Okay. So uh, that is long clean trout. And then for the other side, hopefully you guys can see this. So it's, the, again, the tail's towards me because, and you're pulling towards the head. Um, we're gonna do the other side, and this is gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to see, but it's the same thing we just did. I'm just gonna run our fingers. I wish I could debone with my left hand, but I never trained myself to do that. So I'm just going to do this part real quick. Again, you're saving everything. And just so you guys know, I'm not doing a great job of cleaning this trout. It's been a, it's been a tiny bit for me. Um, and it's my first time doing it on camera, so don't feel bad or feel like you're messing your trout up. Okay, so no bones, great. Uh, I typically just take off this little bit right here because it's next to impossible to get those bones. Perfect. Uh, you can actually feel them right here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then we're gonna do the last step, which is 
backbone you could still feel has some bones right here. So we're just going to take that off, follow the knife, follow the bones with the knife. It's really easy to, to butcher things with bones because you can't really cut through them, so you go until you feel friction. There we go, we have it on the left, uh, sorry, the right, then. All right, so, so that you can see what's going on, this is all the meat and bone from the backbone, and this is all the meat uh, underneath the rib bones. So we're going to, very quickly, separate the two. Fillets. That one's a little bit, a little wonky, but this one looks good. Oh, uh, when you're doing this, um, the fin will always manage to get in your way. So make sure the fin is out because that is really hard to cut through. You could send your knife in places that you don't want it. Mainly your hand. Okay. So I'm just going to clean off this little fin here. Clean this up. And there you have it. You have two I just did a faux pas, by the way. Um, fillets. So, to store these, I use my, I almost said patented, but it's not patented. No trademark on that. Um, paper towel method. So we're just gonna put the paper towel right there, roll it. And that will start to absorb um, any of the moisture, which will make it easier to cook. All right, so that is how you clean a trout. If it's your first time, uh, don't worry, you will we'll get better. Um, and it will become much more natural. Just always remember to save the bones and anything you cut off, because you can make stock out of it. Um, so join us Sunday, 5, and uh, I'll show you how to actually cook the trout you just deboned.